Now, you mentioned a phrase a moment ago, and you said you wanted to dive into this, and I'm really glad you do, because this is something that particularly all new real estate investors that are interested in rehab need to hear, and that's the scope of work. So first of all, Van, tell the audience, what's the definition of scope of work? Let's not assume that we're all speaking the same language. So what is scope of work? What does a scope of work look like? And then after you define it, please tell everyone, how do you go about creating the scope of work? Sure. Well, a scope of work is an actual document that is created. Uh, and it, 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 within that document, you'll have pictures, drawings, diagrams, specifications of exactly what it is that you're looking to accomplish in this renovation rehab of this property. On the commercial side, Typically, architects, interior designers, engineers are the ones who create the scope of work. And then it goes out to tender. And then once contractors or tradespeople receive that document, there are specific sections within that scope of work that they read, they digest, and then they submit their quotes and estimates based on that scope of work. On the residential side, hardly that's ever the case. And in fact, the scope of works that I've really seen are really, really checklist from what I've seen out there. And they're not really truly scope of work, scopes of work that can be and should be used in the process of, of, uh, of getting contractors and trace people to put their estimates or quotes together and send them to you. Ultimately, if you don't have a document, how is it that you expect contractors and trace people to be able to price out work associated with your project if they don't have if you don't have something in writing? Like literally, I've I've gone to, uh, I, I've I've had conversations with new real estate investors where they've gone through the process of contacting twenty some odd co uh, contractors and trace people, and only three or four show up. And of those three or four that show up, only two or three give them quotes or estimates on the work. And the reason for that is that good general contractors, good trace people, really want something in writing to be able to know exactly what it is that this client of theirs or potential client wants to accomplish within their property. Nobody wants to get into this whole gray area of trying to figure it out along the way because there's no money in it. I, speaking as a general contractor who's done thousands of renovations, will walk away from people if they don't know what they're looking for because I know the name of the game for me to be able to profit the most is to have high turnover, quickly go into a project, complete it, move on to the next one, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. And by virtue of me being bogged down and having to handhold a person, figure out what it is they're looking to accomplish in this renovation rehab is not good business for me. So if I, if I see somebody who is, who's got a document, who's got you know a scope of work, so it goes exactly what it is they're looking for in terms of the, the renovation rehab of their property, then I'm more inclined to be interested in quoting it and being aggressive on that quote because I want to deal with professional people. And oftentimes, a lot of new real estate investors scratch their head and wonder, why is it that these contractors, trace people don't call me back or price out or give me quotes? Well, because they're busy and they want to deal with, they want to move, they, they want to deal with professionals. They want to, they don't want to waste time holding you by the hand and trying to figure things out. So that's the reason why a lot of people have difficulties, especially nowadays with this over but this heated real estate market, they can't find trace people or contractors to quote on their work. So I strongly encourage people to create a scope of work. Now, Jay, you asked me about how to create the scope of work. Um, we don't have enough time to really get into detail how to create one, but it's it, it really, you got to go through the process of figuring out what it is that you want to accomplish in the property. You need to do some due diligence with regards to the types of colors and paints and specifications of appliances. You got to put those in. Also, you got to take photographs and maybe do a little sketches of what it is that you're looking to accomplish in this renovation rehab. And you put it all together in this document and you create subsections in that document for the electrician, the plumber, painter, whoever it is that you're looking to have to do uh, work on this property. So they can clearly go to that section, see exactly what it is that they're looking to accomplish or you're looking to accomplish and they quote on it. And you'd be amazed at how many people, trace people and contractors will quote or bid on it because it all the information is there. Mm -hmm.